All right, we're back with you. This epoxy has um, sat for uh, two or three minutes now. Um, so I've got a bait here. I use these uh, forceps to hold them, and my my bait turner actually has um, clips that these will fit in. Um, so I can go right from here to my turner. So I'm going to take a little bit of this, get it right on the front here. I usually start around the eye. And like I said, you, you know, you may have seen other people do their tutorials on their two-part epoxies, and they're probably very similar, I assume. Um, I start around the eye, kind of work it to the nose, because you really want to get it into these uh, little crevices around the eye. And in these gill plates, you know, on these, you know, these are KO-110s. They have the little lines in the gill plates and stuff that you need to get that epoxy in. I'm just going to go back and forth, back and forth. So I typically don't do the bills. It kind of depends on the bait. With uh, jerk baits, I don't do the bills because I don't know. I feel like you know I'm already putting epoxy on there. I don't want to affect the action, and that bill is manufactured in such a way that it should have the correct action. So that's that's kind of why I don't. Um, let me know if. If you guys do and if you know I haven't I have not uh, tried doing the bills and then taking them out and fished them to see I just have always been afraid that it's gonna affect the action but maybe it doesn't at all so let me know in the comments um, what you guys have experienced in the past with either making your own baits or purchasing custom custom baits so I just run it on there. Pretty much just painting it on, kind of back and forth, back and forth. Making sure to, uh, you know, kind of go different directions. So it gets in those little, you know, the textures of the bait. This was kind of an experimental bait <laughs> right here with the, uh, you can see the kind of faint purplish gills. It was with the stencil. It was kind of cool. I think I might use it in uh, like a chub or like cart pattern or something like that, you know? It's a little bit big for this particular jerk bait, but you know, just playing around. Get right up. I want to be over where I stopped painting, that's for sure, to get that nice seal. If you guys want info, there's there's uh, videos on it, but if you want info on how I put my logo on there, JCM Custom Tackle logo on there, um, I can I can do a quick video on that too. Just let me know. Let me know if you guys want to see that. It's pretty simple. A little tedious, you know, but um, it's kind of cool, I think. So we're just going to make sure we have good coverage. Make sure we don't have any really big bubbles or, you know, make sure none of this, uh, um, none of my bristles came out. So if you notice these uh, hook eyes are plugged, make sure and get a toothpick or something. Get that out of there. It's a lot easier now than to do it afterwards with an X-Acto knife and stuff because when this stuff dries, it dries. It's pretty hard to pick out of there without 
you know, messing up your pain or something. Trust me on that one. Um, so yeah, so that's what it looks like. It really, you know, makes a really clean look. Um, we'll put it on the turner. I typically turn mine, um, at the very least overnight. Um, and then I like to let them sit, you know, the next half a day. I'll pull them off the turner, uh, in the mornings and then, uh, I'll hang them, um, kind of like you would if you're using KBS just with a hang wire. They're not going to drip at that point, but just so they don't touch anything else, just so it fully sets and uh, you're left with a, a very quality finish. Very happy with this uh, True Coat. Um, check them out online. Um, they're, uh, go to trueglide.com, I believe it is. Um, but look up True Coat and you'll be able to find it. Small batch, two-part epoxy. All right, I'm going to do the rest of these baits. And uh, I'll probably show you an update uh, possibly tomorrow with some baits. Just run through some baits that I've done up. And so you can see the different finishes that this uh, creates. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Any comments, questions, um, either hit me up on my Facebook page, JCM Custom Tackle, or uh, comment on this uh, YouTube video. We will see you guys on the next one.